Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin and thank you for coming to visit. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification right next to it so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today I'm going to be touching up my hair color. If you watched my last video where I had my silicone build up, um, this is the results of my color. Yeah, that sulfate shampoo did me a little dirty. So today we're going to be refreshing this color and I'm also going to be trying something new um, in terms of lightening my hair. I've been watching a lot of videos on people lightening their hair just a little bit with just peroxide. So I'm going to be taking the remainder of my 40 volume developer that I used when I actually dyed my hair red. I'm going to be putting that mostly on the ends, not mostly, only on the ends of my hair um, because that's what I want to lighten just a little bit. And we'll see how this works. You know, if it does nothing, okay, whatever. And if it does something, great. So I have my developer and I'm going to be using 40 volume today. I have my brush. I have a bowl which is stained red because this is the bowl I use when I dye my hair red. And most importantly, I have gloves because I'm not trying to get this all over myself. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So now that my hair is down, I'm gonna start by parting it right down the center. Now that I have my two sides, I'm going to take this side, I'm going to take the sides and then divide them in half as well. Also, if you couldn't tell, I am doing this on dirty hair um, because I've been told that's the best time to do it. You don't want to actually put too many chemicals or anything on your hair when it's perfectly clean and open. So that's why I'm doing this on my old wash and go. So now that I have my hair divided up into four sections, I'm actually going to start in the front. I do highly encourage that if you plan to do this, please do a strand test. So I did test it on a piece of hair in the back and it lightened the way I want. And then I also tested it on shed hair from wash day and I compared what each of these were looking like and it definitely worked on my shed hair. Enough of my rambling, let's get started. Another important thing about this process, make sure you're wearing a t-shirt you don't care about or is old. I got this one back in high school, so yes, she's old. So, I have my section here. All I'm gonna do is, just like when I dyed my hair red, I'm going to divide this into sections. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing I did last time where I kept like the first couple inches of my hair dark and left the ends light. So I'm really only gonna be putting peroxide, per I keep wanting to peroxide, wow. I'm only gonna put the developer on like this part of my hair. The first like two inches of color, I'm gonna leave alone. And then that way I can guarantee that my roots don't get hit because I'm not trying to have a bright root um, because I've definitely seen this works on virgin hair and considering that now my roots are virgin we're not trying to turn them red we're just not I've liked the grown out look so yeah and when I'm doing this I'm gonna be paying special attention to make sure that my hair is really really saturated in this but usually when my yeah when my curls go nice and limp I know they're nice and wet so all right so I quickly did the back of my head off camera and I used every single drop of developer I had and now I'm going to put a plastic cap on my head 
and we're going to trap in all the heat from my head. So I'm gonna let this process for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half um, with heat. Um, that's how I found most people said it would work the best. Once that's passed, I'm gonna show y'all how it looks before I rinse it out as well as after I rinse it out. Hey guys, so it's actually been an hour and 45 minutes since I put the developer in my hair and I got on the phone with one of my friends, lost track of time, all you, you know, all the usual stuff. So, as promised, here is the look before I rinse it out. We looking red already. Oh yeah, I definitely think that's worked. Definitely think that worked. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hair and yes, I'm gonna use a sulfate shampoo just to really make sure this is all out. And then I will show you how my hair looks once I have washed it. I'm not going to deep condition everything yet, but I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, so I have shampooed my hair, and voila. Yeah. Um, so I just shampooed my hair and rinsed it out. I did not condition or deep condition for reasons I'll explain in just a moment. <laughs> guys so this is the after I guess you could say of my hair I do think it worked I do think it definitely looks like you know it definitely looks lighter because you can see the line of demarcation right there see what I mean you can see it like right here my root is darker the ends are lighter so I do think it worked I wanted to kind of show this process on colored hair um, everybody I saw doing this, their hair was um, either virgin or they ended up, you know, bleaching it afterwards to get the thumbnail picture. We see you. We see you. But yeah, so this is what my hair looks like right after doing this process. And then actually, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how I refresh my red color. I have actually not truly refreshed this color since I dyed my hair you'll understand what I mean by that in my next video <laughs> so um I hope you guys enjoyed this video um here you can really see how uneven my hair is <sighs> uneven shrinkage at its personal finest um okay so that's everything for this video you've seen how I've lightened my hair how I added all the product and these are the wet results I would dry my hair, but I need it to be wet for the next video. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you found this helpful. I actually really do recommend that if you're just trying, if your hair is definitely virgin and if your hair isn't colored, I definitely recommend just going to pick you up a bottle of developer. If you just want to go like a light brown, you know, um, I definitely think you should do that instead of trying to go bleach your hair. Um, I'm sure there's enough bleach fail videos on the internet to tell us why we shouldn't do that at home. So I think this is a very good alternative. Um, and I do think it kind of, I do think it worked a little bit on my colored hair. I do see a little bit of a difference. Is it drastic? No. Is it like, is it what I would have got if I would have bleached my hair? Absolutely not. But I do notice a difference in the way my hair looks. So. Uh, please let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Please stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you actually how I truly refresh my red hair color because she is in need of some loving. Okay, so I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Please be sure to comment down below anything you would like to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. It would really mean a lot to me. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.